Good morning. You're watching WCVB New Center 5 Eye Opener. Right now at 6, despite outcry from some health leaders, President Trump announcing his guidelines to get the economy reopened across the U.S. when that three-phase plan could get underway. If you're out in public in Brookline, you must wear a mask. The strict mandate and who could face fines for not following it. It is not just toilet paper and hand sanitizer running low. The possible supply shortage for some types of meat after processing facilities are hit hard by coronavirus. A clear but cold start on your Friday morning as we look out over Bourne right now. Look at that. We are one minute after sunrise this morning. No snow just yet. Thanks for joining us on this Friday. I'm Antoinette Antonio. I'm Doug Bean along with Cindy, Katie, and Randy in there in South Carolina. Randy, good morning. Never mind that snow. You guys are so lucky there in New England. It's still dark here. You've got that beautiful sunrise there in New England, Cindy. Yeah, we're enjoying a beautiful sunrise this morning. But by the time the sun comes up tomorrow morning, I think it's going to be snowing in a lot of areas. We've got winter weather advisories up for all but southeastern Massachusetts starting around 11 o'clock tonight. And these go through noontime tomorrow. The storm we are watching is producing some snow right now in Chicago, northern Indiana, getting into northwestern Ohio as well, and this is heading in our direction tonight. So out ahead of it today, we have that clear sky this morning, but boy, it is cold. Just 28 in Worcester, 34 in Boston. We're right at freezing in Lawrence and in Plymouth, Bedford as well. Temperatures will slowly come out of the 30s into the low 40s by 10 a.m., mid 40s at midday, a lot of sunshine through midday, and then the clouds increase this afternoon. But we do sneak into the lower 50s today and here's what I'm thinking for snow tonight just a coating to an inch near the coast but one to three inches for a lot of us as you go inland and with some elevation through parts of Worcester County we could see up to five inches of snow above a thousand feet we'll break down the timing on this for you let you know when it warms up again coming up all right, want to get you back out there to the roads this morning. Good morning, Katie. Good morning, Cindy. Happy Friday, everybody. Wide look at the map here. I want to focus on in, in the city of Boston. If you have to head that way, if you're a essential worker, thank you for all that you're doing right now. The Mass Pike looks good through the Prue Tunnel. In fact, all of our tunnels are moving right along this morning. Here's a look at the Zakem Bunker Hill Bridge, Lever Connector, everything moving well. A nice little sunrise out there. If you have to head to the Longwood area, our medical workers, you might be a little slow on Route 9 getting there from the west, but out to our west you should have no problems on Route 2 or the Mass Pike. Antoinette. All right, Katie, thank you. Time now, 6.02. Let's get you updated on the big headlines right now in the coronavirus outbreak, beginning with what could be a major move towards a vaccine to fight the pandemic. The federal government now pledging up to $438 million to help speed up the experimental vaccine that's being developed by Cambridge-based Moderna. If that drug is approved, Moderna says the funding would allow for millions of doses per month starting this year. This comes as the surge of COVID-19 cases continues in Massachusetts. 2,263 new cases reported yesterday, along with 137 new deaths. And overnight, the city where this outbreak started increased its death toll by nearly 1,300. Officials in Wuhan, China, say they were too overwhelmed to do an accurate count at the peak of the crisis. And all of this comes as Massachusetts and the nation react to new guidelines from the White House about how the country should reopen. The IO Matt Reed is live for us in South Boston with a look at those plans. Matt, good morning. Doug, good morning. Governor Baker has stressed that Massachusetts is not ready to talk about reopening for business. Not when field hospitals like the one behind me are still treating patients. Still, President Trump is laying out his roadmap for what happens next. And it starts with a requirement. Before